Measuring angles. We use a protractor to find the measurement of any angle. Line up the vertex of the angle at the center point of the protractor. Make sure the bottom ray of the angle goes through the zero. Count up from zero until the other ray intersects. This is the measurement of your angle. This angle has a measurement of 60 degrees. Keep in mind, make sure you always count up starting from zero. If you started from 180 degrees, you would get the wrong answer of 120 degrees. Let's try another example. Line up the vertex of the angle at the center point of the protractor. Make sure the bottom ray of the angle goes through the zero. If the rays are too short, you can always extend them. Count up from zero until the other ray intersects. This is the measurement of your angle. This angle has a measurement of 137 degrees. Keep in mind, make sure you always count up starting from zero. If you started from 180 degrees, you would get the wrong answer of 43 degrees. Drawing angles. We can also use a protractor to draw an angle with a known measurement. For example, you need to draw angle ABC with a measure of 118 degrees. Use the straight edge of the protractor to draw a line. Mark the points B and C on it. Place the center point of the protractor on point B. Align ray BC with the zero mark on the protractor. Hold the protractor firmly. Count up from zero to 118 degrees. It is point A. Use the straight edge of the protractor to draw the ray BA. Let's try another example. You need to draw angle KLM with a measure of 41 degrees. Use the straight edge of the protractor to draw a line. Mark the points L and M on it. Place the center point of the protractor on point L. Align ray LM with a zero mark on the protractor. Hold the protractor firmly. Count up from zero to 41 degrees. It is point K. Use the straight edge of the protractor to draw the ray LK. If this video was helpful, please leave a like. For more videos like this, please subscribe.